Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter one, lesson 10. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So on these, all it wants us to do is write the expression. It does not want us to solve it. So you'll notice over here, it says Ethan collected 16 seashells. He lost four of them. Losing them means they went away, so he subtracted and four of them, okay? So Yasmin bought four bracelets. Each bracelet costs $3. Well, in order to find out the total cost, we would multiply. Four bracelets times $3, we'd multiply, okay? All right, Amani did 10 jumping jacks, then she did seven more. 10 and seven, how would we find out the total? We would add, that's all. Go ahead and do number four, okay? We are going to go ahead and write words that match the expression, so, we're going to say three more than multiplication means the product, the product of four and 12, okay? When we are dividing, that's called the quotient. So we're going to say the quotient of 36 and four, okay? Try and do number seven, give that a whirl, okay? We're gonna go down to number eight, and we're, what we're, all we're gonna do for eight, nine, and 10 is we're gonna match these with the expression that matches, okay? So, Ray picked 30 apples, and then put them equally into three baskets. So he picked 30 and then split them up into three baskets. Then he ate two of them, okay? So he picked 30, he divided them into baskets, into three baskets, and then he ate two of them. Eight is gonna go to our middle one, okay? All right, Quinn had $30. She bought a notebook for $3 and a pack of pens for $2. So she started with $30. She bought a notebook for three and pens for two. So this one is going to go here, which means our last one is obviously going to go up here, but let's read it and double check that. Colleen runs three miles twice a day for 30 days. Three miles twice a day for 30 days. That's, that tracks. All right, guys, we're gonna go down and do Number 11, it says, Kyle has 14 polished stones. Sorry, Kylie has 14 polished stones. Her friend gives her six more. Write an expression to match the words. Well, she started with 14. Her friend gave her six more. In order to find the total, we would have to add. Okay. Rashad had 25 stamps. He shared them equally among himself and four friends. So there's five people total because there's himself and four friends. Then Rashad found two more stamps in his pocket. Write an expression to match the words. So he started with 25. He split them up between five people total, himself and four friends. Then he found two more. If he found them, that's adding them to his, to his pile. So plus two. Okay, we're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go down into the spiral review, okay? To find 36 plus 29 plus 14, Joshua rewrote the expression as 36 plus 14 plus 29. What property did he use to find the expression? So when we have the same numbers, but they go in a different order, that's called the commutative property. Commutative property. And it's of addition because all of the numbers are being added. Okay. Okay. There are six baskets on each table. Each basket has 144 crayons. How many crayons are there? So we have 144. And we're going to multiply that by six. Okay. Six times four is 24. Six times four again is 24, but plus our two is 26. Six times one is six, plus two is eight. So 
864 crayons. Okay, we are going to go down to number five. It says, Mr. Anderson wrote 7 times 9 times 10 to the third on the board. What is the value of that expression? Well, 7 times 9 is 63. And then we add on the same number of zeros as the exponent. 0, 0, 0. 63,000. Okay? Barbara mixes. 54 ounces of granola and 36 ounces of raisins. She divides the mixture into six ounce servings. How many servings does she make? Two part problem, guys. We gotta add them, add these two together. So 54 plus 36. Okay, well four plus six is 10. I'm gonna carry my one. One plus five is six, plus three is nine. So she has 90 ounces. And she divides them up into six ounce servings. So six goes into nine one time. One times six is six. When I subtract, I get three. I'm gonna bring down my zero. Six goes into 30 five times. Five times six is 30. Subtract, get zero. Which means she has 15 servings. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 110. Come on back for 1.11. See you soon.